Hi everybody, Katherine Kerrigan. I'm here to teach you a rhomboid stretch using a chair and a yoga egg. Now, if you don't have a yoga egg, you can use a yoga block or a book. Now, I'm gonna sit on the side of a chair. Now, I've got my left shoulder against the chair. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is focus on sitting up properly. Anti-version of the pelvis, what does that mean? My hip bones are forward. This is retroversion of the pelvis, which is how many of us sit. So when you sit in a curve like this, your whole upper back rounds and you collapse your lower back, you compress your lumbar spine, and your head goes forward and you get neck and shoulder pain. So I'm gonna be here, anti-version of the pelvis, I'm gonna pull the flesh out from underneath my buttocks. I'm gonna take a yoga egg between my feet, my knees, squeeze the yoga egg, lift the belly, reaching tall to the crown of the head, and I'm gonna to turn to the back of the chair. Now I've got my left shoulder against the chair, and I'm gonna pull with my right hand and Press with my left hand, and this is a fabulous release for your upper back. So I'm going to do this about 30 seconds on your side. As you practice this, if you have a tighter side, I'm going to recommend that you do the tighter side first, the easier side second, and then repeat the tighter side. So many of us do have a tighter side. And if you find yourself feeling balanced, you can also do it equally on both sides. And I'm gonna unwind. I'm gonna take my little clock that I'm using to time myself. I'm gonna come around to the other side. I'm gonna start with really good posture. So anti-version of the pelvis, hip bones roll forward, pulling the flesh out from underneath me. I'm putting a yoga egg between my inner thighs squeezing the inner thighs, lifting the belly, and turning to the back of the chair. Now this time I'm pushing with my right hand and pulling with my left hand. I'm reaching tall through the crown of the head. And again, I'm gonna be practicing about 30 seconds each side. Now notice that I'm not turning my neck, I'm turning my body, all right? and. My left ribs go forward, my right ribs go back here on this side. I'm lengthening in order to rotate, and I'm feeling the release in the upper back. I'm winding. So the rhomboid muscles in the upper back can get super tight and cause a lot of upper back pain. So that's this stretch that I just showed you is one of the best ways to release the rhomboids.